Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, April 17, 2022. The moon continues its transit of your creative sector, and you crave attention and interaction. Venus in your social sector these days is strong for your enjoyment of activities that make you happy or that give you a sense of connection to others. Mars will move into this same area of your solar chart tomorrow, enlivening these things further. Venus and the Sun form a minor challenging aspect today, however, which can complicate your feelings about a friend or a pursuit. Part of you may prefer to keep to yourself or work under the radar, and another side of you wants to get involved. Indecision now is temporary, and it may even delay a decision that should wait for best results. Sometimes it can be the small things that mean so much not the big events. Today is a time when perhaps nothing extremely exciting will happen, yet you feel really understood and happy to be in love. Perhaps nothing earth-shattering is going on, yet it feels very secure and just so good to be where you are right now. How do you feel about your professional style? Today, the moon glows in earthy Libra and opposes Venus in Pisces, indicating that you could have mixed feelings about your creative process and artistic vision. Whatever you do for work, you likely have an ideal image of how you want to execute aspects of your job. But the lunar opposition with Venus may indicate a little confusion, especially if you are unsure of what to edit or adjust to keep moving forward. Luckily, the energy is perfect for molding your vision to meet your professional and creative expectations. While Mars' last full day in your career sector and a pending full moon on the job front make it more about keeping your work and professional rather than your money hat on, the money gods couldn't be happier. This is helping to create a lot of professional energy and momentum just 16 days before Mercury's return to your income sector is due to kick off the most lucrative months of 2022. A naturally harmonious atmosphere exists between you and your private sphere. You are increasingly at the center of things and are an important person of reference, which could place extra burdens on you. You have an abundance of energy, for yourself, your family and friends and are strong, calm and harmonious, strengthening family bonds. You can be sure that your loved ones will return your support when you need it. It's a great time to get serious. Even if you think you're not ready, you can at least play along and see how things develop. What's the harm? You encourage others to be as enthusiastic about life as you are. Your fresh approach, combined with a laid-back attitude is bewitching for potential dates. Be careful when faced with choices, to ask yourself how serious this person's interest is in you. A short flirtation or the start of a more serious relationship. The planetary energy can make this an emotional time for you, filling you with sensitivity and awareness. You may or may not have been taught how to develop your sensitivity and awareness as a child, but it's never too late to start. If you realize that there is something or someone you need to let go of at this time, why not create some kind of ritual that will give you the necessary closure you need? Nurture your spirituality when you feel open to it. This day will see you clicking along keeping busy and getting things done. When it comes to organizing and prioritizing, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better vibration than this one. You will notice that your thoughts are clearer, and that tending to tasks feels right. If you're one who is prone to procrastination, you aren't apt to have any trouble with this today. Whether you are at work or at home, this is sure to be a productive day for you. Mars' departure from your career sector today will see the urgency and the heat dial back while giving the asteroid Juno, the queen of commitment seven days to package this into a game plan and resolutions before Saturn makes it more about the journey. However, the professional gods aren't finished yet when it comes to giving this professional year the push that it needs, with the moon not only returning to your work sector today but to begin the lead up to a full moon. This is the final step in pointing this professional year on the course that it will continue on. Before leaving your romantic sector today the moon will form a friendly aspect to Pluto in an adventurous part of your chart, something that every four weeks will bring the spirit of romance and adventure together. 
With Pluto slowing down ahead of a retrograde turn these romantically charged lunar vibes are tapping into a lack of urgency, making it easier to stay in the moment. Our eyes in the sky. Your creative side needs some kind of organization, but the passion is still burning in your soul, especially as the waning gibbous moon trots through earthy Libra. There's a dynamic pull between structure and ambition as a continuing presence with a square between the moon in Libra and Saturn in Aquarius. Also, the moon's alignment with Uranus, also in Libra, will shake things up. There is a conviction in the collective that can go either way. Pay close attention to the news you receive over the next few days, and don't give up on your dream. With plenty of raw and real conversations going on, you might just come to a conclusion that you've needed to see and understand for many years. Never compromise your interests for the needs of others. This moon affirms the necessity of embodying our inimitable individuality. Libra New Moon we have been looking for ways to achieve both personal and relational balance through compromise and diplomacy. Yet, through this process, we have discovered which of our relationships operate under the illusion of giving and take while exploiting our vulnerabilities. Today, volatile events penetrate superficial dynamics and force us to see things for what they are. The Moon opposes Mars and also forms a tense T-square with Pluto in Capricorn, unearthing buried resentments and hostilities. Exposed secrets or impulsive demands could spell the end of toxic or stressful relationships, those which have survived under the assumption that we will not speak our mind or make a scene. While these events might be distressing or disappointing, asserting ourselves is long overdue. Certainly, this full moon will not spell doom for romances and friendships on a healthy footing, but it marks an occasion where we acknowledge that we deserve better, and we don't need others to dictate what better should look like for us. The moon enters a short void following this transit, and as is typical during full moons, we should allow time for processing and integration without making grandiose statements or decisions now. Although fights may occur, avoid statements of finality. The moon in Libra, dissipating tensions brought to a climax during the full moon, but also finding us resorting to stubbornness and emotional rigidity. Over the next two days, our impulse will be to slow down and ground ourselves, which is good medicine for those with minimal natal placements in earth signs, but may feel sluggish to those who have the energy to burn. We take pleasure in material comforts, making this an ideal occasion for art projects, gardening, or maintenance work which will benefit from patience and a steady hand. If you're under work or other pressure and unable to socialize, you could experience some mood swings. Just try not to behave in a way you might come to regret later. However, Mercury in opposition scrambles our ability to express ourselves. We forget the minutiae, and our interactions become laden with misunderstandings. Frustration is the result of this cosmic clash, so give the time-sensitive deeds on your to-do list a bit of extra padding and prepare for one or two awkward conversations.